I'm here with uh, past District Governor Tebow and past District Governor Wayne. And uh, the representatives, actually the, the contestants in our Peace Poster contest from two years ago, we have Krisha Shindy with her mother, Aniti. And from this year, George Liu with his father, Hai Chen. And joining us is Tom Ku, who is in fact uh, their visual arts teacher at Dalton Senior Public School. So, okay, this year we're going to recognize our winners for the last two years. Uh, for those that are interested, uh, the 2021-2022 theme has been announced. It is We Are All Connected. And if you visit the lionscentral.com website, which is my club's website, there is a page there that uh, outlines the rules for not only the Peace Poster Contest, but also the Peace Essay Contest for the visually impaired. And there's also a page that shows about the last seven or eight years worth of uh, Peace Poster Contest winners, uh, both at our district level, as well as at the uh, international level. For those who don't know, the Peace Poster Contest is open to students who were 11, 12, or 13 years of age in November of the year um, that the contest goes on. The works are judged for originality, theme portrayal, and artistic merit. And each year, 24 international Peace Poster entries are selected. One is as the grand prize winner, the others as runners up. And these represent the work of approximately 400,000 young participants worldwide. There's one winner and 23 merit awards are given out. And the international winner is recognized at the Lions Day at the United Nations, which is actually happening tomorrow for this year. So I guess at that point, we'll know who the international winner is. The winner, for, as I say, for this year's contest has not been announced at the international level yet. It will be announced tomorrow. But just to give you an idea of the kind of quality of work, this was the winner in the year that Shindy won. Um, this uh, individual is from uh, India, from China, and uh, won the international contest. This is Krisha's uh, entry. Uh, for Journey of Peace. Uh, Prisha, can you tell us what your inspiration was in coming up with this uh, around the theme Journey of Peace? You have to unmute yourself. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, well, I got the idea from these famous people who I've heard a lot about and like all of the great things that they did to help out, help bring peace. And my, um, my quote kind of was, journey of peace begins with inner peace. And that makes me think about that, you know, you have to find peace in yourself before you can do something great. And I think that all of these people have probably done that with themselves before, you know, leading us and doing all these great things. Thank you very much. Know, you're welcome. Okay. And uh, the, okay, so that was actually, that's actually uh, Krisha's piece. And uh, I jumped ahead, I put it down wrong. The, this should have been um, George's piece, correct, George? No? No, this one here is, is um, Krisha's piece. Oh. The next would be George's piece. There you go. That's George's, but I still have Krisha's name on here. My bad. In any case, um, George, what made you come up with uh, this uh, in terms of uh, the theme, um, Peace Through Service? Uh, thank you. And I'd like to thank my teacher for giving me all the support. So when I thought of peace through service. I thought about the kind of peace that we are currently enjoying. Like we are in a relative state of peace 
today. And one of the things I thought of are all the war veterans who have brought us peace through their service. And the frontline, wor the frontline workers who are working especially hard today to keep us safe. And on the left, uh, I drew the symbols of WHO, UNICEF, and there are a lot of organizations who aren't represented here, but they're all doing good work for all of us. And on the left, there is a soldier uh, in a field of poppies. And I drew the soldier in black and white to kind of signify how it was in the past kind of. And uh, he's crying because he sees the feather which kind of symbolizes hope. And on the right, there are modern buildings and kind of the world we are living in. And it's kind of the world that they have brought to us through their service. Uh, thank you. Very well done. Thank you. Well, for those of you who are in the audience today, I invite you to join us um, as we learn about the International Peace Poster and the International Peace Essay Contest. Uh, there will be a session on Sunday morning at nine o'clock put on by Lions Leila Musaboy and myself. At this point, I'm going to make the, uh, the big presentation to say, Prisha, this one's for you. Uh, and by the way, for everybody's uh, reference, these two not only won their club contest, which happened to be my club, they also won the district contest and they won the contest for multiple district A, which is all of the districts in Ontario, all 10 of them. So again, congratulations to all of you. And uh, that ends our presentation. <laughs>